Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. So in this session, I shall be discussing the method to convert a logical address to physical address or it can be studied under one more heading, hardware support for relocation and limit registers. So I shall be explaining you the complete details of what exactly uh, this relocation and limit register means here in this topic and why are you going to learn immediately after the contiguous memory allocation methods. So previous two sessions I have discussed completely about the uh, contiguous memory allocations method. One is the fixed size partitioning method and another is the variable size partitioning method. Now in that particular method, see normally if you remember this uh, contiguous, okay, the meaning of this, what exactly it is? If in the secondary memory, okay, if in the secondary memory, if there is a process P1, which has to be allocated in the main memory, then this P1 should be, suppose if there are 100 instructions in P1, all 100 instructions should be placed one after the other, like this, or wherever you find a space in the main memory. Suppose if you are finding the space here, then you have to place it here only, P1, all 100 instructions. Whereas, let us assume this is already occupied, this is already occupied. So, wherever you find a space in the main memory, you are going to place that process P1. But under what condition, all these instructions should be one after the other. That means, continuously you are placing the 100 instructions. So, if at all any instruction in this P for process P1, okay. Anyway, this process P1 will be what it is present now in the main memory during the execution time. So, if any instruction from this process P1 has to be executed by CPU, CPU knows or the the uh, the units that are present in the CPU knows the address of what secondary memory, okay. If suppose if instruction 1 is present in, uh, let us assume that in uh, at memory address 2000, instruction 2 is present at 2004, something like this, then CPU knows what CPU knows, the units that are present in the uh, central processing unit, which are responsible to what to fetch an instruction, that particular unit only knows the addresses that are there in the secondary memory, not in the main memory. CPU always generates the logical address. What do you mean by logical address? any address, any memory location that is referred in the secondary memory. If this is the secondary memory, so CPU is generating an address. Suppose if this particular process P1 is here, these many locations belong to process P1. In whichever location or in whichever address that instruction is stored, let us take instruction I1, it no, a logical address refers to the address that is present in the secondary memory. But CPU during execution, okay, it has got access directly to the main memory, not to the secondary memory. So, look here, CPU is having direct access to the main memory, but instruction uh, reference is always what to the address that is present in the secondary memory. And we call any instruction, any address that is present in the main memory with what, with what name, we call it as physical address because it is a physical memory. So, converting this logical address to physical address is what is this particular hardware that is given here. So, this is the support that provides what that provides the uh, conversion of logical address to physical address. So, this is the diagram that is given in the textbook. Now, what exactly each of these components that are present in the diagram, I will be explaining it to you. So, before that I have given you exactly the background for this. Now, main reason is what, why we are, under which heading you are learning, you are learning under the heading conversion of logical address to physical address. Logical address is the address that is referred in the secondary memory, but CPU always what takes instructions from the memo main memory. So, what under which address or in which location that instruction is stored in the main memory becomes what becomes a physical address. So, there should be some mechanism which will convert this logical address to physical address. <coughs> And before I go to the diagram, one more point I would like, uh, like to add. Suppose if this is the secondary memory and you have a process P1, okay. Process P1 is having so many instructions, let us assume. So, when the process P1 is allocated space in the main memory, this P1, how many 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, let us assume 7 instructions are there. So, all 7 instructions, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All seven instructions will be uh, like the memory for these seven instructions for the process P1 is allocated in the main memory. So, here what I want to tell exactly is 
if it is instruction 1 here instruction 2 all these will be in the same sequence here instruction 1 instruction 2 instruction 3 that means the complete process you have allocated in the main memory and in contiguous manner that is what you are learning this conversion of logical to physical address under the heading contiguous memory allocation so since the complete process is allocated here that many locations remain same suppose i want to tell you like this if this is the <coughs> location number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then the same thing will be there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 all seven instructions all seven instructions but only difference is what what is the starting address of instruction 1 okay that will be something else here we don't know suppose if it is x the starting instructions of this particular one can be some other address so that we will call it as y the starting address of that process will be different here but the instructions will appear in the same sequence so this point to keeping this uh, particular point in your mind you can now go through this diagram let me focus on the diagram completely <coughs> CPU generates what logical address so I will write here CPU generates logical address what is logical address Ad address that is referred for the secondary memory so this logical address will get added with the contents of the relocation register now here is what this addition getting done what is the logical address suppose if I want to tell you for example if there is a process P1 P1 is starting from the address 200 so then 201, 202, 203, 204, 205, something like this, I will end up till here. Process P1 is having these many instructions. So this address, okay, instructions are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 only. 7 instructions are there, but they are stored at location what base address for this P1 is 200. And next instruction present is 200 and, uh, at present at 201. So this is the memory address, okay. So, whatever logical address CPU generates, suppose if the logical address generated by the CPU is 4, it will get added up with what the relocation register value. The re relocation register always holds the starting address of that process. Starting address is what? At 200. Okay. At memory address 200, instruction 1 is stored. So, that means that is the starting address of what? The process P1. So, this 4 will get added with the relocation register and it is becoming how much 204 that means it is pointing to this location here fine it is pointing to this particular memory address 204 because in this particular 204 maybe some instruction it wants to execute in order to fetch that instruction it has to reach to this location 204 how it will reach it knows that the logical address is 4. How come this particular 4 has come? Because I told you know this process P1 has come from the secondary memory only. In the secondary memory also this process P1 was there at some particular memory address. We don't know. But what is that the instruction will be always uh, the number of locations if this is i. Okay. If this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If it is referring to the fifth instruction of process P1. It will be fifth instruction in the main memory only. If that is the sixth instruction in secondary memory, it becomes a sixth instruction in the main memory. As it is, you are moving what all the instructions one after the other in the main memory. Only difference is you don't know from which address that instruction starts getting placed in the main memory. So, for that reason only, this is the setup. Fine. So, once you get the logical address which was pointing to uh, some location here that is 4, okay. And then this location 4 gets added up to this particular uh, relocation value and it becomes 204 and it is pointing to this. Fine. So once if it fetches this, no problem, it will get and we are able to get this particular instruction. That means the CPU fetches the instruction and execute it. This is fine. But always we should know that what is the size of this? The size is how much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 locations here. So, the size is 7. So, that means the limit register will hold the value 7 only. Because if it does not hold the size of the process, then the instruction may be pointing to an address which is not within the boundary of the process P1. It may point to some other instruction which may belong to some other process also. So, our job is to see that whatever instruction is there, it should be within this boundary of process P1. 
So it should be what lesser than 7 only. So that's why this 4 value is checked here. Whether 4 is less than 7? Yes, true. Then only you add with what? You add with the relocation register. Re, uh, you add with the relocation register so that you will get. Now this value, whatever you got is called as physical address. So I can write here physical address. Okay. See, look here. You started with logical address, ended with physical address. Definitely this is required. This comparison is needed. Just assume that if the logical address intentionally or unintentionally it is 8, then what will happen? 8 less than 7. Is it true or false? False. Once it becomes false, it will come out. It means it is not going to add up with the relocation register. It will show an error here. We say a uh, trap in the operating system. So, we, we say it is an addressing error. Addressing error happens if any instruction crosses the boundary because definitely if you add a 200 plus 8, it becomes 208. But at which number it is ending our process? Our process is ending at 206. But what value you are getting? 208. 208 is what? It is belonging to some other process. P2, P3, we don't know. So, 208 belongs to some other process. That is why in the very beginning, in the introduction chapter for the operating system, I said that there is a protection mechanism also in operating system. One process cannot, what? Uh, fetch, uh, okay, cross the boundary and try to access an instruction of other process. So, this is also one of the functionality of the operating system. So, hope this uh, example is clear to you all. So, limit register do not get confused. It is just indicating the size of the process. If there are 7 instructions, that means 7 locations are only valid for that process. That is why we write here 7. If a process is having some 30 uh, instructions, then 30 locations are valid. So, size becomes 30. Similarly, here relocation register is the base address, the starting address. So, you can see in some textbooks, the this one is written as what the base address only or relocation register, contents of the relocation register. So, it is one and the same. This is how you have to understand this particular diagram and to what? To learn uh, this topic under the heading conversion of logical to physical address in contiguous memory allocation or it can be what under the heading hardware support for relocation and limit registers. Hope this session is useful to you all. So, I request my audience to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.